Let's go to uh, chapter 8. Start at the first verse. Matthew. Matthew. <laughs> and when he come down from the mountain, a great multitude followed him. Behold, there came a leopard and looked at him, saying, Lord, if thou will, thou canst make me clean. And Jesus put forth his hand and touched him, saying, I will be thy clean. And immediately his leprosy was cleansed. Let's go to uh, chapter, I mean, let's go to verse 14. And when Jesus was coming to Peter's house, Peter's, and when Jesus was coming to Peter's house, he saw his wife mother laid sick of a fever, and he touched her, and the fever left, the fever left her, and she arose immediately unto them. And when the evening was come, they brought unto him many that were possessed with devils, and cast out the spirit with his word, and healed all that were sick, that it might be fulfilled with that it, that it might be fulfilled, which was spoken by Isaiah the prophet, saying, Himself took our infirmity yes. and bared our sickness. You know the night, Jesus, our Lord and Savior tonight. You know he went forth. He went all the way with Jesus, no matter what it was. But Jesus put the Lord. He didn't do none of these miracles that he did the 40 day fast. Jesus didn't do nothing to them. But when he had, but she said, Lord, of these things come by prayer and by fasting and by the word of God. But you know, when he did the miracles, he spoke the word. Yes. 
Yes, sir. Amen. Hallelujah. This part is from the west to not thank God. Yes. I love him tonight. Amen. No. I've seen the Lord touch people of all different kinds of diseases. That's right. Tonight. Amen. He can open the blind that eyes, the deaf ear, the dumb talk, the lame, the walk. Glory to God. It don't matter what's wrong with you tonight. If you're here tonight in this holy tone tonight, if you need a record from God tonight, hey, all you just say, Lord, yeah, I need God. a miracle. He really paid the price, but he was wounded for our transgression. Yeah. He was bruised for our iniquity. The tap up is a ball here. Glory to God. This is not the preparation for 
Amen. you tonight. Yes, and if sir. you don't know Jesus tonight, then you need to know him tonight because he is getting ready to pull the mercy door tonight. Amen. Soon, very soon. Yes, he is. We can see the king. Yes. It's time. <coughs> we better get ready. And if you're here tonight, and you're looking warm, you say you look warm, you say you spew out your mouth. Right. Right. Amen. I want the final power of God. I'm not satisfied. Right. I'm not satisfied. I'm hungry for the Lord. Yeah. Oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is the man that trusted in him. Oh, fear the Lord, he is thankful. There's no one that fears him. The young lions do not suffer from hunger, but they that seek the Lord shall not want a good thing. Yeah. Glory to God, they're not glory to God. Hey, amen. I'm testing. I'm breaking the left path and never run dry. That living water, glory to God. Out of my belly shall pour reaper the living water, and not glory to God. But I'm glad that glory to God that he speaks to us. And we can hear that still kind voice. Hallelujah, glory to God. Yes, God. sir. Yes. Woo! Fire! I want enough power, God. When I shout, if it was the court there, then I've got enough power, God, that I shout that the dead would raise up. Glory to God tonight. Yes. I want yes, that kind of power. And we can have that kind of power yes, in the last days. This is the last days. Yeah. Yes, See, God hasn't changed. Jesus yes. hasn't changed. We're the ones slacked off. That's right. Amen. The church is slacked off. Yes, sir. See, they're slack, we're slacked off. We're, we're not doing what God really told us to do. We're not, we're not seeing this miracle like God said. Because we're not doing the homework. We're not praying the passion. We're not reading the word of God like we should. We're not getting filled up the word of God. Amen. I get up at one or two o'clock in the morning. Talk to my heavenly father, glory to God. Amen. To touch his people. Deliver his people from us. He said, if my people were taught called for my name, shall I live their stop and pray and seek my face? Yeah. And turn to wicked ways. Then I'll hear men forgive their sins when he'll land. And if we come back at night, we have to ignore If you're in a depressed mood, and when you come to your senses, and you're annoyed where you at, what state of mind is, that's what you can call the Lord. Glory to God tonight. I love him tonight. Amen. You are my brothers and sisters tonight. We are the child of the, the most high God. Amen. Our coming king tonight. Yes. It's amazing to feel the power of the living God tonight. Amen. Amen. It don't matter what's wrong with you tonight. Amen. It don't matter what's big or little. Cold, yes. flu, yes. cancer. I remember I had a cancer on my eye. And I lived in Florida. And I remember doing the past. But I remember the Lord showed me to, to start calling upon me not a lowly word. And I rebuked that thing every day. Every day for about two, four or five months. And I remember one morning I got up. And I went and got me a warm horse rag. And I remember I washed my face. And, and I forgot about that cancer being there. And when I washed my face with that rag, that thing fell off and would not start it up. Oh, that's that's how God be so tonight. Every place in the Bible where you'll find out 
the where that everybody was delivered and healed, it was either God touched them or they touched him Amen. by his garment. Praise God. Amen. How many believes in a garment touching God? Amen. How many believe that God yes. operates that way? Praise God. Yes. Yes. And I'm going to tell you tonight, praise God, that God can do anything but fail. Amen. And the Bible said, praise God, in verse 21, for she said within herself, if I may but, we got to get away from the buts. Uh -huh. If I may but just but, 21, touch his garment, I shall be whole. Yeah. Not made whole, because made whole is a process. Amen. Right. But she said, I will be whole. whole. Means I will be complete. Yeah. Means that, praise God, when somebody's believing with me and I believe in the word of God, and when I get to speak the word of God instantly, I put my trust and my faith and my confidence yeah. in God right then and now is when God's going to touch you. How many believe that? You've got to be moved and touched by the feelings of God tonight. Hallelujah. Yeah. He's only a healer. Yeah. He's a provider. This is not a play thing. This is all real. Yeah. Somebody say real. Real. Yeah. And the Bible says, amen, in 22, but Jesus turned him about. And when he saw her, he said, daughter, be of good comfort. Thy faith hath made thee whole. Verse 21 or 22. And the woman was made whole from that hour. Mm -hmm. In other words, the scripture implied that she took great encouragement. She was giving God the praise because she, in all confidence that she had, she was trusting and believing that God had already touched her. Verse 23 says, And when Jesus came into the ruler's house and saw the minstrels and the people making a noise, he said unto them, in verse 24, Give place. For the maid is not dead, but sleeping. Amen. That's what I've been trying to get across to a lot of people tonight. Amen. Praise God. Not everybody that's dead is dead. Amen. Maybe if you believe opposite, maybe if you don't understand the concepts of the word of God, when you die, you just may die. But I'm here to tell you today, when this preacher lays down this life, amen, I believe that I'm going to move on over. Amen. Come on, say amen. amen. I'm not going to move and praise God, go anywhere and elsewhere. Praise God. We plan on putting the undertakers out of business. Amen. Because God is a good God and God always finds resurrection in his people. Yeah. How many believe that the dead yeah. can raise? Amen. Oh, I would scare you if you was around folks and you seen somebody completely. I tell you what, we was down at a funeral down in Ashton conducting that funeral and, and our brother was there, praise the Lord, and it was quiet. Some was sobbing and crying and talking and looking at each other. And all of a sudden, he cut out a whirl of a scream. I could have thought that the, the, the lady in that casket, I thought she moved there for a minute. Amen. Praise God. Because you know why? Because heaven is real. Yeah. Amen. Praise God. And God can do anything. Praise God. Yeah. It's just you've got to have confidence. Yeah. Right. You've got to have faith. You've got to have the faith that God is going to do it when God's going to do it. And you know when God's going to do it? I already know that about God because he's going to do it in my time. Amen. Yeah. You see, if you want God to do it in any other time, I don't know about you, but I need God right now. I don't need Him yesterday. I don't need Him seconds ago. I don't need Him an hour behind us now, but I do need Him this very second. Amen. Somebody say, yes, I do. Yes, and the Bible says, amen, praise the Lord. And He said unto them, get this place for the maid. Is not dead. She's sleeping. Amen. In verse 24, and He laughed, praise God, him of scorn to scorn. But when the people were put forth, he went in and took her by the hand and made a rose. Everybody say the maid arose. The maid arose. The maid arose, praise God. It wasn't payday, praise God, but it was, but it was a move of God. Amen. Verse 26, and finishing up his soul sermon, the Bible says, Amen, and the frame hereof went abroad into all that land. That when Jesus departed thence, two blind men followed him, crying and saying, Thy son of David, have mercy on us. You see, there's something of tremendous about God. When you want God to do something for you, you've got to ask God. Don't go always to the preacher. Don't go to mom and daddy. Don't go to the late members of the evangelists and the deacons and organization. You need to go to God yourself and tell God what you have need of. How many believes? And this is a self thing, praise God. Why would you ask someone else to ask for you if you're the one that has the need? Amen. Somebody say amen. amen. You've got to say, God, I have need of this. And never look at the circumstances that though it's too big that God can't handle. Our situations are small. Yeah. Amen. Our life is small. When we're sick, that's nothing. Amen. Why? Because God.